In MathCAD, you can perform data analysis like interpolation, which predicts values at points in between the points of your data set. Here I have some data in a matrix. The first column is my X data. The second column is my Y data. And here is the graph of those different data points. Let's say I want to get the values in between them. Well, I can perform interpolation like linear interpolation, which will draw straight lines between the points in my data set and allow me to find the values in between those points. So let me start off by grabbing my chart component and moving it down on the sheet so that I can get some space in here. And so I'm just gonna select it and use the down arrow to give me a few different lines. The first step in the data analysis is to create a range variable between the lower and upper bounds of your data set. So I will call my range variable range, and then I will use the definition operator you can go to the operators dropdown list, and it is this command. The keyboard shortcut for the definition operator is the colon key. I will click on that, and then I will use the min and max functions in order to create my range variable. So I will type in the function min, I'll just type it in manually, and then I'll use the open parentheses, and I will use the first column of my data, let's use data. And then I will use the column operator and let's go to the matrices tables tab, vector matrix operations. And it is this icon or this command, which is the keyboard shortcut control shift C. And it'll be the minimum of the zero column. And then I will move my cursor over to the right. And to make this a range variable, you can go to the math dropdown list and then operators. And it is this one that I want to use where I can define my step. The keyboard shortcut though is just using the comma that will turn it into the appropriate step range variable. But I will click on it. And then for my step, I want it to be really small. So I'm just gonna repeat my min function, the min of data, and then I'll use control shift C zero. So essentially it's the same as the first value in the range. And then I'll use the plus sign and add in a very small value, 0 0.01. And then the upper end of my range variable is going to be the max of that data. So I'll type in max and then open parentheses, and then the name of my matrix, and control shift C, and the value zero. So that is good for my range variable. Now we're going to create a new function over this range variable using the linear interpretation function. So I will call my new variable G, and then open parentheses over range, and then I will use the definition operator, this time I will use the keyboard shortcut of the colon key. And for my function, let's go over to the functions tab. And you have a bunch of ones up over here. I'm gonna click on all functions though to get all my different functions in here. And if you take a look in the list, here we have interpolation and prediction. So you can use interpolation to find the values in between the points of your data. You can also use different predict functions to get the values outside of your data set. And there are a few different ones for interpolation. So for example, we have B interp, which is a B spline. And let's see, here's the linear interpolation. And there are a couple other ones in here, I think for interpolation. I just am not seeing them at the moment, but oh yeah, here's one, poly iter returns the interpolated values using a blah, 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 polynomial function. Okay, but anyhow, in this video, we are doing linear interpolation. So let me double click on it in order to get it. And for the linear interpolation, you're going to pass in your X data, your Y data, and then the range variable or the values that you want to return the interpolation for. And so for my X data, that's going to be data. And then I'm going to use control shift C and that's going to be the zero column. And then let me move my cursor over using the arrows on the keyboard. 
and then I'll use data, control shift C, and my Y data is the one column. And then let me use my cursor to move over. And then I'm going to use my range variable that I just defined. So let's click on the outside. So I've created my function. Now let me select my chart component to show you what that looks like. Let me expand. And then I'll click up in the inputs area. Then I can right mouse click and insert a new X axis expression. This is going to be range. And then I will cursor over and I will enter in a new Y axis expression. And this is going to be my new function G over range. And then I will click on the outside and we get our graph between the individual points. I can collapse my inputs area in order to see that. And again, with the linear interpolation, it is going to create straight lines in between your data. You can also evaluate your interpolated function at different values. So for example, if I evaluate at E, see E is equal to 2.718. Even though that is not one of my points within my range, I can still evaluate at this variable. G as a function of E, this is going to be equal to that value. And then let's try a few other different ones. Let's do G at a value of, let's do a little bit less than five, 4.75. This is going to be equal to almost eight. And let's do one more. Let's do G at a function of 18.015. This is going to be equal to almost 43. So there you have it. That's how you can use MathCAD to perform data analysis like linear interpolation.